Hi, my name is Meredith Mustard, and I am speaking to you from Two Imagine Studios in Farmington, Maine, um, where I work with my partner, Judy, Judy Tollison, and I've been printing on fabric from which she is making garments that we call wearable art. So I'm just going to show you some of the ways that I print on the fabric first, what I use. Um, and I'll, I'll just start. I'll just plow through it. Um, I make I make these stamps out of foam core board and sticky back foam, which is a kid's craft foam. Cut it up um, and stick it on the boards. And all different kinds of patterns. Um, sometimes very random ones turn out to be the best. These are some of the ones that I've made and continue to use. Um, I just recently found these raised letters at Joanne's Fabrics and started doing that, um, working with them. I also have cut uh, lots of stencils over the years. And this is one that I really love. I love the, the cross shape. And then after I had that, I thought, you know what? I like that shape, so I just went and cut a bunch out of mylar. Actually, it's duralar is what I cut out of. Ugh, these things get stuck together. Um, so I just cut these random shapes, and I can use these in a different way. This is a grid. These can go um, down as masks in a, a more random kind of pattern. And... So, you know, it just gives me things to work with. So that's more. I have boxes full of all different shapes that I've cut. I cut these out by hand so they're irregular circles. But uh, circles can be really fun. I also have sets of squares. Same kind of idea. And uh, polka dots kind of random polka dots. These are made with a punch. And I have all different sort of pieces of it that I work with. Very fun. <clears throat> Sometimes a random single shape, sheet, um, shape is really fun to work with. I love hands. So this was something I came across that somebody had copied off of a copy machine and I just took it and cut it out. Use that. This has been one. This is the one place where I use stencils that I bought. They're alphabets and numbers. And I've gotten different fonts. So this is a, let's see if we can see this, a serif font, the little edges, and then the sans serif. And um, they're really fun to play with. And I've also taken them, and these are numbers, but <clears throat> these are really, really oversized. Um, and I tape them together. And so I have this piece that I'll, I'll just work with the way it is. And I've done that with some alphabet ones too. So they're random. Some of them are upside down. Some of them are backwards. Then over the years, I've cut lots of stencils. I can be a little bit OCD. So I'll draw something and then I'll cut it. And I never know. You know, this one just looked really wonderful. Um, doesn't always print in ways that I find very satisfying, but I never know that until I make them. This is another one that I drew and cut. And then some of the most basic shapes are really, this is, you know, it's stripes, but they weren't cut with a straight edge. They were just randomly cut. And um, they're really fun to work with. Um, checkerboards, love checkerboards. So I, I cut this, you know, so it's tricky. Uh, you can't cut right to the edge or the whole thing falls apart. But I figured that one out. Um, this was another one that I just, I drew something up and started messing around with it. Another one I drew and cut. Very fun. I mean, it really, to me, suggests a, a placement. <clears throat> which I think is an, a great project if you're starting to fool around with fabric, cut a bunch of placemat shapes and then uh, decorate them. 
Um, and also, you know, all the standard stuff that jelly printers use, um, bubble wrap. So these are all different bubble wraps that, that give different shapes. And that, that and something that I don't have here, which is plants from your garden. Um, you can look for things that have grasses are just beautiful. Um, flowers on stems, little flowers. And when you're picking something, look for something that has a good silhouette shape because that's basically what you're going to get on the fabric. You don't get that same kind of detail that you can get on paper. So that's some of the basic stuff. Um, I use golden fluid acrylics exclusively on the fabric. I don't mix anything with it. You can get something to mix with it that I think makes the paint more pliable, but it seemed way too complicated for me. And this paint um, will set with heat. So I, um, I wash all the fabric and iron it before I print on it. And then afterwards I iron it and I really set it with heat. And, um, you know, other things that I use are, of course, a brayer, and I use a baron, a printer's baron, so it's kind of a mess, but when I'm, when I'm doing the printing, um, I use a sheet that's, that's smooth and shiny on one side, this has been printed on the other side, but I put it down over the fabric when, when there's paint in the fabric, and then the sheet, and then I can give... I can press, because if you do it directly on the fabric, it's really easy to move it around. It's kind of tricky. So that's the end of this. The next video, I will actually do some printing and you can see what that looks like. So thanks, good to see you. Let me see, oh, forget that. I don't know how to flip the phone and, and get the other side. Bye.